Hey guys, and welcome to an original retry this production. Today I'll be doing a Game Maker tutorial teaching you how to create switches in Game Maker. You can do this on Game Maker Lite or Pro, it doesn't matter. So, the first thing you'll need is your switch sprite for your, your switch object. Now, what I have here, I have a simple 32 by 32 switch with two sub images one for when it's not activated, which is this one, and one for when it is activated, which is the yellow one. I didn't feel like animating it, so really simple. And next, we're going to—I'm creating a wall object. Now, this wall, when the switch is activated, the wall will disappear, allowing the player to pass through. So there's going to be a wall blocking the player, and when he activates the switch, the wall will disappear. Pretty simple. So I pre-created the objects. So it creates an object for each of those, the switch and the wall object. So in the switch object, what we want to do, we want to make it solid. You want to make it apparent to your floor object or your wall object. Your solid wall object, that's in platformer games always. We make it apparent to that. In my case, it would be the obj underscore floor, your solid wall object. Next, you want to add an event, a create event. Control, execute some code. So what you want to do, you want to type in activated equals false. So when the object is created, it's not activated yet. Really simple. So next, what you want to type in, type in image underscore index equals zero. And then image underscore speed equals zero. Image underscore index will make it so that it starts off on the first sub image, which is it not being activated and image underscore speed equals zero will make it so that it won't scroll through all the sub images it'll stay on the first sub image next want to add an event step another step event control execute more code and in this time you want to put oh, what we're we gonna put oh yeah if activated equals true open bracket image underscore index equals one. Oh wait, wrong mistake. Image underscore index equals one. That way it'll scroll, t It'll if, if the object is activated it will change into the sub image of it being activated. Sorry for my stuttering and getting kinda nervous because it's different mic. So next you wanna put if place underscore meeting X comma Y minus one. And now you want to put the name of your player object. In my case it's OBJ underscore black player. You can close parentheses. Open bracket, you want to say activated equals true. So this will make it so that if your player touches the top of the switch or he steps on the top of the switch, the switch will be activated. And that's all we need for the the switch object. Any mistakes? No. Check it off. Solid. Parent to the floor. Now we're going to go to our wall switch object. We want to make it solid. Apparent to the floor also, so our player can't get through it. So it'll block him. Add an event. Step. Step event again. Control execute more code next you want to put if obj underscore switch dot activated equals true so if the switch object if the variable in the switch object is true open bracket instance underscore destroy open parentheses close parentheses close bracket now this is the main part you have to worry about if obj underscore switch dot activated equals true because that part will um that part applies to any any switch. So now we'll go into my room. We'll put the wall objects in. And then we'll put the switch object in right there. No, not there. Uh I'll put it in there cuz I feel like it. And I'm in charge check and now let me show you what it looks like so here we have my wall object your player cannot get my player cannot get through to it 
but when he steps on the switch, the wall disappears and the switch changes colors, showing that it's been activated. And now I'm free to do. Now, this has been an original retry this production. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe.